So I'm moving fish around, or well, technically giving fish away, and uh, getting new fish. I know. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to be giving our batch of my fish to worlds underwater again. That is because I want to keep my goldfish, but doing the constant water changes that requires only the own goldfish. Uh, the water bill gets is getting way too high, and the main reason why is due to me constantly doing water changes in this tank here. So I'm going to be giving these guys away to worlds underwater, and they'll be going to a good home. Supposedly, they still have that green spotted puffer in, in the store, and I want to check them out. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to net these guys and put them into this bucket and get them prepped for being taken over the world underwater. And what, and what I'm actually going to do with this tank is that um, this tank is going to go into a living room. It's going to be filled with a few of my goldfish I own. <clears throat> it's going to have, at the very least, the 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 uh, pair that's in the ten gallon, and that one that's in the five and a half. I may also move these guys in there with them. It just depends on how everything looks. So I'm gonna put the goldfish in the bucket and come back. Well, here are all the golds I'm giving away. I want to keep them all, but like I said, it's the constant water changes that the water that has our water bill too high. And I have to give, you know, I have to pretty much uh, get rid of the problem, and this is the problem, unfortunately. Which is a real shame because I really love each and every one of these fish. <clears throat> but the one guy I'm planning to keep is this one right here, my black telescope. It is my smaller, chubbier of the two black telescopes I own. And this one's actually the more healthier of the two. He's going to have his own tank to himself, of course. <clears throat> there is one goldfish removed. That is because I was actually able to give that other goldfish to my neighbors that, I get, that, has that, that have that pond. The neighbors that initially that, that initially owned that house are gone now. They moved out, but the new neighbors were just as willing. And it turns out the new neighbors love my old original goldfish I put in there. It's become their favorite. So these little guys will be going directly to uh, Worlds Underwater. And this guy will be staying with me. Now the reason why he's acting like this is because he, because he gets a little fat when they eat, unfortunately. I know it's a sad sight, but <clears throat> I've had them for so long, I'm used to this. I know it's not exactly the best, but um, that's kind of why I'm hoping, that's why I'm downsizing also, to hopefully give this guy the more proper care and attention he deserves. Oh yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm also gaining two Platinum Angels today also. So yeah, so yeah that'll probably be the next part of this video. I actually know if the next part of this video will be me actually going to uh, Worlds Underwater and whatnot. Small car, small space. Oh boy. Very small car. There it is. Ooh, I forgot about the stinking parking lot. It stinks. All right, hold on, fish. It might take a little while since they probably got like a pop the fish out of the bucket. And I might want to record in there, so just so you know. How's it going? Good, you? Good. What you got? Uh, the goldfish I want oh, to uh, okay. give up. Okay. Did they all make it? Yeah, looks yeah. like they all made it. They all made it, yeah. Throw them in the tank real quick.
Ah, there's a goldfish tank. It is all right for me to record, right? Do it. Is it all right for me to record video? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Jaws is going to do just fine. And that's everyone. Ooh, discus. A molly? Nope, I found a puffer at least. Wow, he's gone big. How oh, shame I couldn't do this to him. Oh, there's star puff puff. I'm worse than my puffer. Yeah, this is my puffer. It is absolutely my puffer. Oh, wild caught angels, that's cool. Oh, this one has a little knot on its head. Twenty-five bucks, twenty-two dollars, good grief.
and now off to Pet Supplies Plus for my angel fish and McDonald's because I am hungry. Platinums are now in there, now heating up at least. I don't know if I'm actually going to place them into this tank, but um, I might due to me having already a white beta in this tank to help make to help make it look even cooler. And plus these plus these angels aren't no bigger than what I currently got in that tank right there. Also, got ourselves a tank stand. And a glass lid for said tank too. It will make life a lot more easier for me to feed my fish and whatnot when I have this lid instead of these little crummy foam foam board lids that just give out after a few months. I mean, for, I mean, well, some of them give out in a few months. A few of my lids they they've lasted for for nearly half a year, for nearly a year, and this is one of them. It's nasty as heck, but it's been lasting for well over a year. Same thing with the LEDs, but it might be time to replace the LEDs too. Now I gotta tear this tank down, figure out where we're gonna place this thing, and then build the stand. Alright, <clears throat> so I've moved the uh, two into a little five and a half for a little while. Of course, my big guy's like, what is going on here? But one thing for sure is fish definitely looks a lot more beautiful. And of course, the other two are like, oh gosh, I'm back in this tank again. Now to drain this tank. Figure out and move this thing and start building this. So I had a little mishap draining the 10 gallon tank. Uh, around like a gallon of water got spilled, but it seems like for the most part the uh, bottom tray right here took up most of the water. And there's a quite a bit of stuff in here, a keyboard, a remote control for RC aircrafts, all sorts of stuff. Apparently they all still work. But yeah, it had a small little mishap. And for right now, this is where I'm going to keep the uh, little hutch. I'm hoping not to keep it here permanently, but this is where it's going to be kept. And as you can tell, there is some water damage too. So this is all the stuff that used to be in that uh, dre in that little dresser. So I'm just going to let it all sit out here and dry out in the dresser, and we'll get everything put back together. I think I will actually add them to the tank. They've been sitting for about an hour and a half. to be doing just fine. It's going to take them a little while to get used to the tank, of course. And of course, there's Mr. Betta right there trying to figure out what's going on. Of course, I also did do a water change prior to uh, getting these fish. 
So they so the bed it does have fresh new water, and the angels of course have nice new fresh water. Granted, I did just take granted I did just put in some of the water from the uh, from this fish store, but I haven't had any problems yet. The only thing I'm really worried about is Mr. Beta going after the angels or vice versa. Where's the other ones right here? I'm thinking since there's only three fish in here, everything should be fine. And if anything, he has lots of little hidey holes, especially right in there. Well, nothing like the slow, boring task of draining a tank. So, while that's doing its thing, uh, the guys I want to show off the uh, Platinums, show how they're doing. They look to be doing just fine. You can see a slight bit of yellow at the very tops of their at the very top of their head and body. But they're both very beautiful. Where's Mr. Beta? I do not see. Oh, there he is. You blend in real well with the gravel. I mean, with the uh, with the substrate, don't you, Mister Beta? So I got one of these little glass lids, and I don't know if this broke at the store or broke be or broke prior to me getting it home, because um box itself really doesn't look that much damaged but um yeah the glass cracked which really sucks but what I've but what I've done is I just used some good clear tape clear packing tape this is duct tape clear tape so it's gonna be pretty dang good so I just more or less duct tape the uh, duct tape the glass together and that's going to do the trick hopefully and of course it's going to go onto this lid onto this tank here well my mom mows the I mean not mows but uh well technically it sounds like a freaking mower vacuums the house I'm going to uh show how everyone's doing in this tank so right here are the angels Prior to me recording, Mr. Beta was here, but now he's right here. Currently, seems like everyone's hanging. Seems like everyone's doing just fine. And of course, I just fed my fishies, or at least some of my new, some of my fish. This stuff now. I know that tank right there absolutely loves this food. These guys are still trying to get used to each other, so we're gonna be like this for a little while. And also the uh, glass lid I got, I'm not going to use. It's $20 of my money wasted. But I learned my lesson and unfortunately it looks like I'll be staying with my homemade tank lids. I really wanted to use this, use this uh, glass lid. But it is not a... Uh, it doesn't fit the tank like it, like it should. Which, is, which really sucks. But eh. It's easier to just build uh it's easier just for me to rebuild these lids than having to worry about that thing breaking on me. Well, one of the joys of having a tank near the front door is I can just bring out the hose and fill it all up. One of the negatives is Bandit keeps coming into the house. And my parents keep interrupting me whenever I'm trying to do a video. But hopefully this tank will hold, and we're good to, and I don't know if you really see it or not. But I have a uh, piece of wood right here to help, uh, br help get, to help keep this, 
uh, tank on and whatnot. So hopefully everything's gonna work, and of course this tank is pretty freaking cloudy. My poor Beta has no idea what to do with himself. Neither do the two, neither do the two angels. Well, it looks like they all. Well, it looks like everyone just hanging, more or less leaving each other alone. That's good. Mr. Bad actually has his head in the hole, literally. I'm starting to think my bed has special needs. All right. So with that, the preliminary stages of setting this tank up are now done. I got the stand built. I got the tank on top of the uh, piece of wood I've been using up for using on the cinder blocks for a while now. It's going to help distribute the load for the uh, for the uh, stand due to them, due to there being a gap that there really isn't there anymore, which is good. Give me a second. Let me grab a sheet of paper. Yep, there's no more gap. We got Patty though. But as you can tell, I also got two heaters. 150 watt, 100 watt. Two filters. The original filter that this tank had. And the filter from the 10 gallon. So in total, this is a 40. And this is a 10. This is actually for a 12. So I have around a 50 gallon or so uh, filter system running on a 30 gallon tank. So all I gotta do now is let this tank sit for a little while, let the water clear out, let everything stabilize, rebuild a whole new tank lid, figure out what I'm gonna do about this rat's nest of wiring, make it a lot more safe because as of right now this is very, very sketchy. But um, considering I'm considering something gonna be like this for a few days, it should be fine, but when I go to fully set everything up, I'm going to make sure this rat's nest is like not there. I'm probably going to tear down this tank, by the way, also. I'm going to probably end up doing, I'm probably going to end up giving away these two flower horns to Worlds in the Water, too. But yeah, I mean, if they're able to, if they're able to convert my my uh, green spot puffer to something that cool they'll be able to convert these two into something pretty cool down the road too hey guys i got a new tank aren't you where's the other one there's the other one. Oh, his fins are all torn up you two need to stop being jerks. If any more serious bullying goes on, I'm gonna have to move these two into full on confined, uh, full on, uh, uh, whatever it is, uh, confinement. So. With that said, I'm done with this video. I'm going to actually edit this video and upload it. So the next video will be me building a tank lid maybe. But I know at the very least it will be me putting the angels into this tank. Oh yeah, and here's my goldfish that I decided to keep. This is only temporary until I can get him into the tank that he's going to be going into. I could put him into this tank, but this tank has snails, and I have no idea what the nitrate levels are in this tank. But I know in this tank, he'll be fine. I'll be doing daily water changes, of course, too. I thought I'll pop in and show... Actually, I thought I'll end this video with this, showing what he's doing. He's... He's actually pretty... Well, I mean, he's doing great. Well, I don't know if he's doing great or not, but he's moving around. He is noticing me, and... That is a good thing. Though I'm pretty sure he misses his friends. And I think one of my snails just died again.
Oh yeah, sorry, one more thing. One of my Platinums decided to come out for a little bit. And I wanted to show off one of my Platinums. Yeah, he definitely has some, yeah, it looks like he has a gill play problem. I'm pretty sure I can go in there and fix it for him, but I don't, I don't, but I have no idea what to do. But he's a beautiful Platinum. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going, for right now, these Platinums are absolutely staying in this tank. For as long as Mr. Beta here keeps it, um, as long as Mr. Beta plays nice with them. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a timid Beta, but I could be wrong. The main reason why I really wanted these two was due to uh, D, uh, Joey from DIY or whatever of uh, is his uh, tank of forty something platinums. Now, of course, my platinums aren't as beautiful as his, but they're platinums, and I'll gladly take them. And also, this is what's left of my tank. A bunch of airline tubing going directly to my flower horn tank. And three slender blocks. Is, that any, is there anything else I really need to do? Oh yeah, I think I'll give one last little update on my flower horn show how he's doing. He's doing great. I need to go to bed. I'm getting sleepy.